Hey guys, this is Coach Ray. Let's talk about Devon Lart versus Yogeni Prudnik in East versus West 5. It's been a few days since the big matchup. If you haven't seen it, this will contain all the spoilers. Uh, Devon Lart defeats Yogeni Prudnik 3 0. When I look at that match and before the match, everyone asked me, like I said, it's very hard to beat a specialist arm wrestler, super match specialist in a super match, uh, especially Devon. So, the whole point of super match arm wrestling, when you take it to the level like Devon does, Devon knows he has a point in almost every match where he will stop you and he will drain you. Because like if you, and I talk about this like, I don't know how many times, but you know, close to the pad, open arm angle, feels like everyone wants to pin him because it's so close. And while you're trying to pin him, he just keeps working that pronator getting that position, keeping it slightly below the parallel line of the pin pad and trains you, drains your side pressure, your back pressure, your hand, your wrist, everything. So if Devon has enough power to stop you right there, it's a very bad day for you. You can look at all his matches and we always make comparisons how Devon has beaten someone and how, you know, this guy has beaten someone. Devon doesn't, he almost never goes for that pin. He always goes for control. He always goes for that position. Um, it's like he's baiting. Let's let's be honest. He's baiting. He wants his opponent to attack. He wants his opponent to go to that position where they think they are in control, where they think they can finish this because they're so close. And most of the time, guys panic and they try to pin him there. Uh, even when they lose their wrist, they're like, "No, it just I'm, it's so close. You just can't do it." Um, Maybe it will not work on round one, round two, it works. Uh, of course, everyone's going to talk, well, 11, too much power. That was different. But even then, in that first round, we stopped. We saw that Devon did stop him very close to the pin parallel line. And then he got injured because of the power that Levin as well as Devon possessed at that time. And at this point, all the stars align. Again, one of those moments where Devon Laird kind of shocks arm wrestling world. Uh, everyone asked me before the match and I said like, I think Devon is going to win. I pulled him in Germany. I saw what he did and all those practices with some of the best guys on the planet. And I thought it's, it's going to be extremely hard to beat this guy. Uh, and yeah, let's talk about the match. First of all, uh, Jody screaming in a corner was absolutely distracting was absolutely distracting, but it was also absolutely awesome. <laughs> you know, uh, so much support for Devon. It was, you know, uh, the whole place exploded when the matches start. I didn't like the long setup for the first round. I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, because I wasn't commentating, I was right there. And I remember I was watching the match first round. And after the first round, I'll be honest, like I lost, lost an interest, I was like, there's no chance Eugeni can come back from this because he suffered so much damage on that first round. Devon was able to, you know, hook him, you know, and pin him. It wasn't easy, but Devon was in control throughout that match. Um, I have a feeling he, he would have won without the long setup. And I believe he would have won in Orthodox arm wrestling as well. So, you know, but the match, we needed to have this match. Um, always Devon's ducking Europeans and, you know, and all those things. The challenges for him are getting very slim as well as, uh, like, I think there's a lot of guys he can pull, but 115 kilos, this was the championship match. Evgeny beat Todd, like, you know, like, like there's levels between both of them. And now it's, the real question is who's the next contender in this weight, or maybe it's a catch weight versus someone else like Gennady, Kurdecha, maybe even Hermes or Morozov, because all those matches make a lot of sense for me. They make a lot of sense for me. Like Devon is that good. Um, I was I was really happy to see him win, um, because like so much hate online, you know, and uh, like when he took on Levan, he did. He did prepare himself like crazy. He did show up in the best form and shape ever. Levan is just different. He's different. He's, he's, <laughs> he's not 
on the same level or same reality where we are living in is different. So uh, I absolutely believe when Nevin said he was at his strongest, the problem was he couldn't show it because the strength gap was just too insane. Right now, I feel like there is a lot of matches to be made and Armisen community is gonna get their entertainment, gonna get those stories told. Um, how old is Devin? 47? I'm not sure. If you know, post it in the description and comments, sorry, in comments. Um, insane, insane. Uh, I'm so happy for him. Prudnik, of course, like uh, he tried everything. He tried his mental warfare. He tried, you know, do everything as strong as he is. But when you never face someone like Devon, or even at this case, Michael Todd, it will be very difficult for you to beat him. When you rely on your opponent to not have those sticky points in those positions. Uh, I believe there's a chance for Eugenie to come back. He can take a lot of information from this match. He can train, he can prepare, and he can give or even maybe beat Devon at some point. I think it's all possible because the match was, it wasn't so one-sided. It was just, as soon as the match stops, it's so hard to beat Devon. Uh, you can watch all of his practice videos. The guy can pull for, I've seen him pull six hours and it's the same match all the time. He puts everyone in that position. So he's becoming specialist and we talk about like, you can do a lot of stuff on table. If you want to be good at super matches, you need to figure out the one position where you can stop your opponent, where you can get in a way better position than they did, and where you can make the match your match. And that's exactly what Devin Larratt did. Um, yeah, great event. Uh, we're going to talk about other matches as well. I think uh, I'll get Giannis to talk about his post-match analysis, but pretty much how we said the thing's going to go, things went exactly that way. Uh, but yeah, everyone at Core Sports East versus West, staying in Terzi, uh, all my crew, Ryan, Neil, Artem, uh, even Gary Goodrich uh, was awesome working. I hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you supported this sport. Armistling is growing. We're getting bigger. There's more eyes on us. There's more money. It's looking very good. 2023 is going to be epic. 2022 was the best year in arm wrestling history that I can remember for super much arm wrestling. Not for tournaments, let's be honest. But I think all of those things are going to come together and are coming back. And we already know that this works. Uh, yeah, stay strong. Love arm wrestling.